Well, good afternoon. This is Betty Meredith, president of the Retirement Resource Center, a retirement education and training company for professionals, clients, and consumers. And I'm happy to be your host today for New Horizons in Estate Planning with Steve Parrish, the co-director of the American College New York Life Center for Retirement Income and adjunct professor of advanced planning as our presenter. Estate planning is a key part of financial and retirement planning. There are new estate planning considerations for financial professionals in light of the pandemic, the SECURE Act, and other proposed legislation, and an increasing emphasis on living versus death estate planning. Our session today will help you understand how the new horizons in today's estate planning might affect your client's retirement plans. Steve Parrish is the co-director of the Center for Retirement Income at the American College for Financial Services, where he also serves as an adjunct professor of ad advanced planning. He is also an adjunct professor of estate planning at Drake University Law School. With over 40 years experience as an attorney and financial planner, Steve frequently addresses the financial challenges of individuals, business owners, and executives nationwide. Steve is an expert on retirement, estate, and business owner succession planning. He is a recognized industry authority, spokesperson, and author, serving as an ongoing columnist for Forbes.com. Steve has served as an expert source for such prominent media outlets as Investment News, Money.com, Kiplinger, Market Watch, The Wall Street Journal Radio, and The Retirement Income Journal. He is also the associate editor of the Journal of Financial Services Professionals. In addition, he is a sought after speaker with bar associations, estate planning councils, and state AICPA meetings. And he's addressed such financial services organizations as MDRT, AICPA, NAFA, Inc. 5000, and the Society of Financial Services Professionals. So Steve, thanks so much for being here with us today. And we're now turning it over to you. Well, thank you, Betty. I very much appreciate being invited. And I wanna thank all of you for attending. So today, as, as Betty indicated, I want to discuss a, a topic that typically is not uh, top of mind for consumers, but which lately has really been a hot topic, and that's estate planning. In the session, what I want to do is focus on what I'll call the new horizons in estate planning. And as indicated, I teach both law students and financial advisors about estate planning, and boy, has a lot changed. Uh, now, I tell you, big changes were already occurring before the pandemic hit. But then when people saw loved ones going into hospitals without the ability to have others speak on their behalf, it, it really was a wake up call. Uh, my friends who are estate planning attorneys are absolutely besieged with appointments and requests for estate planning documents. However, today my comments are really focused on financial advisors. What do you need to know about the new things happening in estate planning? So why don't we get going here? And uh, um, so what I wanna make sure we accomplish is that I give you um, an update on some of the things happening with estate planning. And I wanna put it in terms of eight major shifts or horizons I see going on, and then give you some, I hope, actionable ideas that you as a financial advisor can kind of build into your planning. Well, first of all, estate planning is very much back in vogue. I mean, first of all, there, there's all the uh, publicity going on. So we had Aretha Franklin and Prince die without wills and heard about all the problems. And more recently, uh, Tony Shea died at a very young age, again, without a will. So people are hearing about it and seeing the consequences. And, and then just at the financial level, really, um, it's no longer a matter of just estate tax planning. It's talking about estate planning in general. We'll get into that. Now, there's, there's definitely more flexibility in the law. When I was in law school, there were no such things as living wills or the idea of a physician-assisted suicide. None of that existed. And so it was really the doctor's decision how one dies. And then just the pure demographics. I mean, we basically have the grain of America and we have the pig and the python moving on and people are starting to realize their own mortality. So it's back in vogue. And then we had the effects of the pandemic when people saw these tragic things happening and nothing they could do about it. That really was the wake up call. And then on the financial side, we had the SECURE Act, the CARES Act and whatever we have on upcoming changes, which I'll discuss a little bit, which anytime you have a change in tax law, it also affects estate planning. So to, to introduce the whole thing, let me just give you the eight new horizons in estate planning. And, and basically what I'm gonna do is go through these 
and a, a few ending remarks, and then we'll take uh, whatever questions we have. But basically, I see estate planning has become more and more a part of financial and retirement planning. In other words, it used to be its own separate discipline that was done by essentially estate planning attorneys. More and more, it's being integrated into financial planning. Second, there's much more of a focus on longevity versus mortality. In other words, living too long as well as dying too soon. In the tax arena, it's really changed quite a bit. Now we're talking about required minimum distributions and inherited IRAs and, and uh, income taxation when you die versus estate and gift and generation skipping taxes. It's much more emphasis on the income side. Uh, as far as number four, life insurance um, used to be just typically put for state planning purposes in an irrevocable life insurance and you were done. Now it's become much more of a wealth management tool. Number five is that end of life planning has become the new planning motivator. What gets clients into offices is more the issue of what happens at the end of life. And a lot of that's been sparked because of COVID-19. Number six is Housing is a key challenge and opportunity. There's so much of our net worth is tied up in our housing. There are new ways to release some of that equity and use it in retirement and estate planning. Number seven is just recognizing the fact that elder law and family law have taken on increased importance because of what's going on and are key aspects of integration with estate planning. And finally, I wanna talk about some of the new estate planning topics and issues out there like pet estate planning and digital estate planning because we need to incorporate those in our thinking.